Have you ever been in trouble and then found out that you're actually not in trouble? So I have another story for you guys before I get back into skate content. This next story is from middle school. William Mann in Middle School, that's the school that I went to. We called it WAMS for short. It's a story that stuck with me and it's short enough that I can tell you guys on YouTube. It had to have been sixth or seventh grade. We were playing kickball indoors because it was probably raining outside. I would hope you guys know what intramurals is. I hope they still have that. Two teams, I'm not up yet, so I'm just chilling, kind of bored. I'm outfield and I'm like up against the wall. I can't remember if it was a dare or just genuine curiosity with the fire drill. You guys know where this is going. Yeah. I look to my right and I see like the fire drill. It's got this like plastic case over it. I'm like looking at it and like nobody sees me because I'm like way in the back. I literally just lift up the plastic case. And there's like this protective alarm or preventive alarm or something like that. It's not the actual fire drill alarm, but it's another alarm. The intramurals coach, she hears that and she's like, dumbass. That's the first thing that she said to me. I actually like was overtaken by that. I was like, I didn't pull it. And she was like, go to the office right now and tell them that that was you. That's literally all she said. Go now. I literally just start sprinting. I'm kind of like, wait, am I in trouble? Like, what, what did I do? I didn't pull anything. But like, I started believing by her tone and how serious she was that like, oh snap, like you, you're actually fucked right now. Like you're in trouble. In her mind, that sound meant that the fire department was already alerted and they're on their way here to the school right now. And it's because of you. So I'm like sprinting down to the office right now, probably doing the Naruto run dead ass and then i get there and i'm just like i'm like panting and everything uh that alarm that you just heard uh yeah that was me and they're like what alarm like dead ass yeah we don't hear anything it's it's not going off right now i was confused wait so the fire department like isn't coming right now well did you pull the fire lever like, no i didn't pull it they were like yeah no like nothing happens they don't get alerted i literally just said oh false alarm and just like left the office and just walked back to the gym. I was so happy when they said they didn't hear anything because that meant that this wasn't going to escalate to my parents getting involved or an in-school suspension, expulsion. So I walked back to my intramurals coach and I'm telling her like, yeah, like nothing happened. Like nobody got alerted. They actually didn't know what I was talking about. Back in my head, I was just like, wait, I should totally ask her right now. Like, wait, did you really call me a dumbass like right now? Like, wh what was that about? It was stupid to just pick up the case. But when you're like sixth or seventh grade, you literally just be fucking around with shit i didn't get in trouble moral of the story don't lift up the fire alarm case there's an alarm for that too literally a false alarm it's been like eight days since i posted since playlist live those three days that i was out in orlando were a movie i swear if you haven't seen those videos i suggest not even suggest do me a favor and go watch those videos they literally went up same day the next video i wanted to post after playlist live i wanted it to be another banger i just wanted to still be on some like exciting stuff you know what i mean not just go back to like tripod videos and not skating with friends because my license is still not in my possession right now. I ordered it literally like 25 days ago and it still hasn't come up. So I literally had to book an appointment, a freaking DMV that's 40 minutes away from me, not even the closest one to me, get it next week, maybe. I'm hoping that next Monday I can get it. I just started focusing more on short form content, just on TikTok. And you guys know, like I told you in a different video that it's just hard for me to like shift from short form content to long form content. It's two different creative minds for developing ideas and creating. Right now, I have a couple of different content ideas for YouTube, long form, streaming involved. I have something on its way. Can't tell you guys what it is right now, but I'm excited to stream it. I'm thinking about more trick tips, a feather flip and a half flip. I'm committing back to this daily grind. That's it, bro. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? There's no... <sighs> My strap got stuck in between here. My camera fell and I tried to pick it up and I just cracked my freaking screen. Dude, this isn't even my monitor, bro. Are you freaking serious, dog? Dude, that's real. Bro. Dog. Yo, I have to edit this video. Oh, I just made it freaking worse. Bro.